Hey, this will be a quick video, but today I'm gonna to show you how to do a nine patch image as a background for a container in your uh, Flutter application. So um, a nine patch is essentially, uh, you know what, let's let's just look at one. So, okay, so this is, this is an image, this is the image I wanna use. So this image can be split into what we would call a nine patch image. So the way that a nine patch image works is that there is a center patch, and then there are nine, sorry, eight other patches. There's a patch for each border, uh, or sorry, each corner. There's um, a patch for the uh, border here in our case. Um, there's a patch for the border here in our case, here and here. And that totals to nine. So we have three here, we have three here, and three here. Uh, we can actually see this too. So I've got a, um, let's see, a reference sheet that I can pull up here. Uh, and this is an asset pack that I uh, picked up and you can see they have an example here of how to handle the nine patch. Uh, so they say tileable center, tileable sides, and then the corners. So this is them dividing a, a similar piece into a nine patch. Um, not every image is nine patch compatible. Uh, these probably could be as well. Um, but often if you get frames from like an asset pack or something similar, uh, these would be something that you could set up as a nine patch. So here's an example. I think this is the one that we have. There's a couple more here to choose from, but I think this is the one I'm choosing to use for this screen. So yeah, okay, perfect, it is. So yeah, we could, we could break this up into pieces. Uh, so let's take a look at what we're working with. Um, this is the screen. This is a little ugly. There's text here. You can't even see it uh, because the, the background. So we, we need to um, set up our nine patch image in this container right here. So all I have going on, uh, there's a single child scroll view. There's a stack. Uh, the stack is two different pieces. There's this banner up here at the top. And then there's this list view that I'm gonna add the background to. Uh, that list view is contained in a container, uh, and that's where we're going to make our changes. So the first thing we're going to do is add a box decoration. That box decoration, we're going to use the image property and set it equal to a decoration image. This part's really important. We're going to set the fit to fill. You can see how this works right here. So if it's you know uh, reasonably sized, it's not going to stretch much, uh, but it will distort the source's aspect ratio. So if it's a vertical box, it's gonna stretch vertically. If it's a horizontal box, it's gonna stretch horizontally, exactly like you'd expect. And then we set our image to our asset image. So I have that image that we just looked at set to this path right here. So if we save this, it looks awful. And that's because we're just setting this equal to a background image, but we're not actually setting this up as a nine patch image. So the next step to do that is really straightforward. We have the center slice property that we set on our decoration image. And then we specify that the center slice is a rectangle and we're using this from left top width height method right here. And I have 45, 45, 30, 30. So this is the leftmost pixel. We wanna go 45 pixels from the left, 45 pixels from the top. And then our center rectangle is 30 pixels, you know, uh, wide and 30 pixels down from 45, 45. Um, I'll show you how to get this value in just a moment. If we refresh, this looks really good. This is actually exactly what we wanted to see. So we see that our center tile is tiled all the way across and stretched out like we would expect. Uh, the borders are going all the way down the view like we would expect. Our corners are up here in the corner like we would expect. And then the top uh, horizontal barrier um, or uh, border, if you will, is covered by this banner, but we can see that the bottom is working like we would expect down here as well. Uh, okay, so how in the world do you come up with this value? So the easiest way is to identify it uh, with, a, with a tool like um, Preview or any image manipulation tool. So basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this value and, or this uh, image, and then um, I want to figure out the dimensions of it. And I think it's 107 by 107. So if we wanna find the center of this, we could divide it by two and then we would get a value. Uh, and then what we can do from there is we can take the remaining value and that's gonna put us right in the center. So we can take the width of the remaining value and then divide that by two as well. And that'll give us a uh, essentially the left uh, and the top. So in our case, we'd get 45. Um, you can also play around with the values. Uh, it can be difficult to do that manually because if you start changing things, like let's, let's just change this to 30 and 30 and then take a look at what it looks like. Uh, weird, it didn't update anything. 
Oh, I think it, sorry, it did, but you can see there's like, there's a little bit of an artifact right here. So let's change this value even more to something a little more wild. Yeah, okay, perfect. So figuring out how to go from this to the right value can be really difficult. But if you size up your image, and then again, find the center and then find the offset that you need and then the width and height, um, you know, it, it, it works really well. So anyways, that's how you set up a nine patch image as a container background in Flutter. I hope this was helpful. This was super useful and so much easier than the way that I've done it in the past with Android and iOS. I'm, I'm hopeful that those have changed over the past couple of years. Uh, but if you're doing it with native, at least on Android, it, you have to like actually import the image as a reset or, or sorry, as a resource and then set it up as a nine patch. And it's like, it's a whole ordeal.